Here's a Media Mark weather report. Weather told from the eyes of Mark here at Media Mark. Let's take a look at some of viewer sent in photos here. Beautiful time of year, and as you can see here across Hershey, Pennsylvania, Derek Rentschler from Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. He had a very nice day at Hershey Park. I believe it was September 28th. And as you can see, this was the rule across much of the Northeast and Mid Atlantic. He had a very nice day at Hershey Park, as you can see, some nice backdrop of a blue sky, puffy cumulus clouds. Couldn't ask for a better day, really. And hopefully you all got out to actually enjoy uh, the very, very, very nice uh, weather that we had across much of the country, especially the eastern part of the United States. Thank you, Derek, for sending those nice Hershey Park photos of a nice backdrop of a beautiful late fall day, early fall day for that matter. Heading on towards uh, upstate New York, I was in the Catskill Mountains, the Delaware County region, and this was near the Downsville area. You can see some nice, I got some nice wide angle shots on my Canon T3i Rebel camera here, and uh, the leaves are actually changing quite rapidly. So if you really need to get out there and uh, do some leaf hunting and actually click some pictures, you might wanna start doing it here in the Catskills and of course the Anirondacks for that matter, because things are really starting to pop the colors especially the reds and the oranges. So you wanna get out there and enjoy that. And as you can see, some of these photos I shot were really picturesque. So I will be displaying some of my photos throughout the week as I get them. So get out there and enjoy. We're getting towards uh, peak in many portions of the Northeast and New England. Let's take a look at the tropics. I got some few things to talk about. We have Tropical Storm Jerry, which isn't gonna be much of a factor. This system is very weak and it's going to continue to meander during the next several days, actually a couple of weeks for that matter. Some of the models hold this system on and just kind of it's stuck between a trough to the north, which is too weak to pick it up, and a few high pressure systems, a few ridges out here. This system has nowhere to go and it's not going to affect any land, maybe just shipping. But here in the Caribbean, this is where we got something going on here and it's just southeast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Most models bring it up towards the Yucatan Peninsula, some off towards Florida, but I am in disagreement for bringing it up towards Florida. I think the system will continue to chug towards the Yucatan as an area of high pressure starts to build in across the southeastern portion of the United States and the north central Gulf of Mexico. This should steer the system as it tries to develop, although it's encountering a lot of wind shear and dry air, so this system may not have much of a chance. It should cross the Yucatan Peninsula into the Bay of Campeche. It's just starting to look familiar, very similar to a lot of the systems we've had so far this season, especially crossing into the southern Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to continue to watch for that. That's uh, quite a broken record pattern we're in here, and sorry for eastern Mexico here towards Tampico. You could be looking at this system later on next week so we'll continue to watch for that other than that not much else happening in the tropics we're going to head on state side here i want to show you a map here the northwest i've pretty much uh last week ignored the northwest but no reason to ignore it anymore take a look at this we've got this uh jet stream this very active jet stream plowing across the northwestern portion of the united states as you can see look at this we have this digging jet stream and we're going to have series of low pressure systems riding down along it, areas along the coast could be picking upwards of uh, additional four to six inches of rain. Towards Portland and Seattle, we're going to be looking at another one to three inches of rain, most likely. So it's not going to be the most picturesque days here in the Northwest. So if, this is pretty much going to continue through the early portion of the weekend through this week. So continue to watch for that. That is the scenario for the Northwest United States here and Southwestern Canada for that matter. And actually, we're going to get some snowfall levels here in southwestern Canada, lowering to around five to 6,000 feet in some areas with some of those uh, storm systems that bring in. So continue to watch for that here in the northwest. We'll continue to watch for wet and rainy conditions as we get stormy skies continuing as we get an early start to an, probably an active winter season here. Let's take a look at the eastern portion of the United States. Through this week, we're gonna be looking at a ridge of high pressure across, anchored across the eastern United States here, uh, the southeastern states, and this will continue to pump up some nice warm air. Here across the northern plains, we will see a good deal 
of uh, active weather as we get this digging jet stream here across the Rocky Mountains heading on up into central Canada. But for that matter, the Great Lakes, Northeast, New England, Southeast, there really is not much to talk about at the, this week at the moment. If you have some time off, enjoy it. And if you live in the Northeast, Great Lakes, New England, Southeast Canada, get out there and enjoy those leaves because we're going to be going towards past peak here in the next week or two. So continue to watch for that. Other than that, that's going to do it here for Media Mark. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Here's a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Elmira, the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania and Scranton, and the Susquehanna region of New York, Pennsylvania. Let's take a look at the forecast here. Heading on into your uh, week here, your work week, we're looking really nice. Look at the 70s pretty much every day, low to mid-70s. Overnight lows in the mid-40s pretty much every day. We've got to have that chance of a stray shower towards the end of the week, towards the weekend. But we're not looking at anything major, a lot of weakening cold fronts that will approach the area. But look at this, looking really nice. So if you have some time off in the Susquehanna region of New York and Pennsylvania, enjoy it. That's going to do it for Meteo Mark. <music>